Greetings from St. Joe Czech by Church Melbourne. Once upon a time, there was a farmer who had a beloved horse that helped them earn a living. One day, the horse ran away. All the people in the village came around to support and said, We are so sorry to hear about your horse. How unfortunate. The farmer simply replied, Maybe. A few days later, the horse came back bringing seven wild horses with it. And in the evening, the villagers came back and said, Oh, isn't that lucky? What a great turn of events. You now have eight horses. The farmer again said, Maybe. The following day, his son tried to train one of the horses, and while riding it, he was thrown to the ground, breaking his leg. The villagers then said, What a terrible luck. And the farmer responded, Yeah, maybe. A few weeks later, the National Army was recruiting young men across the village. The farmer's son was spared because of his broken leg. Again, all the villagers came around and said, Your boy is spared. What a tremendous luck. To which the farmer replied, Maybe so, maybe not. We'll see. The story of the farmer and his horse teaches us that it's impossible to know with certainty what's good or bad in the grand scheme of things. This idea is resonated in Isaiah chapter 55 verse 8 where we are reminded that God's ways and thoughts are higher than ours. In the book of Genesis, Joseph's jealous brothers sold him to slavery and he was falsely accused and imprisoned. However, he eventually rose to a position of power in Egypt and saved many lives during starvation. In Genesis chapter 50 verse 20, Joseph tells his brothers, You intended to harm me, but God intended it for the good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. Like the farmer and Joseph, we must trust in God's plan for our lives, even when we face difficult circumstances that we don't understand. We can have faith that God can use even the most challenging situation for our good and His glory. Let us learn to trust in God's power and be patient as we wait for His perfect timing to unfold in our lives. May God bless you all.